now we are going to talk about changing, uh, making a field mandatory, making a field, we can hide it, we can display it and all those things. So for this, we have this transaction BUCH, okay? You can always go through SPR also. So what we are going to go is we will see, I think it's already added here, BUCH, okay? Okay, keep this, keep this one very handy. It's like that custom screen, uh, customer screen configuration. Okay, you can do a lot of stuff from here. Okay, now here you see the BUCH. Okay, what we are going to go is we are going to go display. Okay, and here, what we are going to change here is, is we are going to see this. You see this, there is a field uh, which is, hidden here we are going to enable it let's see which field it is we are going to enable so here if you see all these are different views account overview and all those things so what we are going to do is we are going to go into this status status is the tab if you notice status is the tab and we see here and there's one thing which is hidden which is called not released so what we are going to do we are going to make it display and we are going to make it save save it and it will store in a customizing request now what we are going to do is we are going to go back to this transaction and hope it will replicate so we came and you see that not released has been has come here so this is the way you can do let's let's be a little adventurous and we will try to do something in some other views okay now sometimes it may not work because i don't have much access okay so let's go into this address place okay and we'll see what are there what are hidden and all those things okay so let's see which are the ones so can we see any anything which we, we can hide it so probably we can see anything search term here search term now this is more related with address so it's going into the probably let's see standard communication type is hidden so uh so here we might see something out or uh, let's go into something that is more more specific because there can be lots of tabs so we can go into the bank details let's go to the bank details can we have the bank details yeah it's bank details so here in the bank details we are seeing there's not much we can do here because it's so let's see what we can do in do you have something where we can play around a little not much, but little we want to play around. Okay, so we can go to the control parameters. Probably there is something control parameter. So company code control parameter, or what is it called here? Yes, control parameters, or we can go to ratings. See the ratings. The ratings is more like a tab so what we can go is uh, let's see we can go to the legal data this is brand new so and we will discuss on this after i explain the legal portion so i so the legal is general data so p r s obsolete there were a bunch of obsolete data what else was there probably these these ones which are not there there was fiscal data i saw something so probably fiscal data is something that we can really play with so now we have some fiscal data let's go to the fiscal portion fiscal data okay we'll play around okay so we see a bunch of stuffs and what we can do is we can just hide one let's see so the tax non-residential something is enabled here nope nope it's not there yet so we cannot really hide it probably we can make it display here okay and we'll save it let's see whether it populates or not okay now if it doesn't populate you know it's because so tax 
residential is non-tax it was non-tax residential right and we made it fiscal 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 so we'll go to the fiscal portion f-i-s-c-a-l and we made the indicator display can we hide it let's hide it and we'll see whether it really matters because now if you see it's there there's an indicator now we'll go back hit the bp button and wow it's gone so let's make it back again okay since we are playing with this data yeah so you can do a lot of stuff you can see but please please link when you're hiding and all those things make sure it's not a mandatory field where you are coding in there then you are getting into trouble so just 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 keep in mind when you're doing it just uh, ideally it should be done by a business or the functional person and they should think about what they are really doing on this see see now this has come so this is pretty useful and this this looks slick okay and um, it's really helpful let's see whether we can tweak the other portion that we were trying previously so main screen sequence rules okay oops this is the rules and role grouping uh, can we see something sales area screen sequence for resource rules oops, everything is role based so let me see address overview address overview so let's see the address overview that is has only one field. Oops. So it didn't really help. So let's see the address details. Let's see the screen configuration. It's the same. It's not helping me. Let's see the company code data dependent data roles. Probably I'll go to go to the roles now. And we'll do CVI vendor. What was the what is the role? Financial BP. See financial BP. So this would be probably financial BP supplier. No, let's let's go by business partner CBI FI vendor. Let's see what's the configuration. So we see vendor account assignment. Is this the one? Let's see. Mm. So if I open the vendor account assignment is the one address. We have vendor payment transaction status. No. Oh, you have vendor status. Where is the correspondence? Probably okay. so this is not the one. So let's go back. We'll go to this one, CVI vendor. And we'll open this one. Vendor correspondence, vendor text. Probably it was that one only. Because this doesn't have anything. So I think based on, we have to pick a good, uh, we have to pick a good role here to play around a little. Okay, so what we are going to do is we'll go business partner general, play safe and we'll see what is there in business partner channel so i think it's getting mad because this screen is open and we'll just say this we'll come back to this screen and let's see whether we have a business partner channel mm, bp general bp collection oh this is company code data that's a problem Looking in the, so probably in the general data, we'll be having business partner general. There it is, business partner general. And now we are going to, so if we notice here, so see the sequence here, and it should match with the sequence that we are watching here. So if this is the sequence, this is the this is the sequence. So we see, let's make it a little smaller. Yeah, this is perfect. 
We have address, address overview, identification, control, payment transaction status, additional tax technical ID. Well, I like this one. Make it here. Oops, it didn't move. Uh, I like this one. I move it here. I move it a little here. Can I move it? Okay. Let's see whether it really moved. We'll do this. It will take me to that transaction and probably ask me to save it. Oh, yes, it asked me to save. Now what we are going to do is we are going to, we are going to again open this one and we'll see what's the screen sequence. So this is the screen sequence we have. And this is the screen sequence. We had it before. And this is what we want. Let's see whether it changed or not. I think it really changed. That's it. So we made it. So you can see you can change the sequence of the screen based on the type of role you're opening. And it's pretty useful. OK. Can we do anything more? Let's see. Uh, oops. It's getting mad at me. Uh, probably it's opening. Ad, this is address overview. Now uh, we'll say. Oh, you can change the name also. So what we will say. Uh, we can say payment transaction, or we can say. We can say. Bank details and we'll say this and we'll go to this one and can we merge this together that would be something right so control and we can say yeah this one also will change something mm. we'll say mm, Business um, uh, um, We'll see this one We'll make it uh, Vendor Status And we'll save it And we'll move it In the back And we'll say this and I hope it will be saved there. And it will be saved now. Let's see, it's going to save, 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 save. It's going to save. Save it. And now let's open it up again. This is... Wow, it changed, you see? The vendor status, so we changed a bunch of stuff. We arranged it. We named the name. This is awesome. So I think it's really helpful. You can do a bunch of stuff through this. So, so you, you see, we have arranged the tabs. We have renamed it based on the type of stuff that yeah, the customer wants, the business wants, and this is this is pretty useful and really slick. So this is really useful.